So if you introduce yourself. Christine Perenstocko. And what brought you to our practice? Um, I had a friend that told me about um, her experience here when I was um, looking to try and conceive. And uh, who was your physician? Dr. Enrique Soto. And uh, is there anything you'd like to discuss about uh, your experience today? Um, he was just uh, an incredible physician, um, had the perfect combination of, you know, um, emotional support and medical knowledge and really I felt like fought for me because it didn't happen on the first time and there were uh, numerous challenges. Um, and on those challenges, do you want to give any input to future patients who are currently looking at still getting started and are worried about those? Yeah, I think, um, well, there were three P's that I, that I kept in, my, in my, the back of my head when I was going through all of this, and it was prayer, peace, and perseverance. And I would, I would suggest holding on to those for anyone who's, you know, getting ready to start this journey. And um, what does this process and whole experience mean for you and to your family? Well... I have a full family now. I have everything that I wanted. Um, it, was, it was an incredible journey. And I think what the process meant for me was really looking at this challenge as an opportunity to take a look at, at myself and my life and my lifestyle and how I was you know, leading it very much on a go, go, go kind of um, dynamic, traveling a lot for work and, and never really stopping working and just taking a breath and a moment to just be and allow myself to conceive. Great. Um, is there any um, comments you'd like to share to encourage others to start their journey? Because it can be very difficult to, to even walk in the doors. Yeah, I would say, you know, if you, if this is something that you, you know, genuinely know that you want, and I think if you're, if you are entertaining the idea you're feeling it. You're feeling the need for, you know, um, the joy of, of a family. Um, then go to it, into it full force. I would say there's definitely a mind, body, spirit component to it. You know, all three components are really important to the journey. And like I said, just to take a look at this challenge as an opportunity um, to really think about who you are, what you've been doing and where you want to go. Okay. I'd like to ask another question. Uh huh. Please turn on mute mm -hmm. so my set back. But what are what are some concerns that your husband had, uh, either on the health side or on the psychological side, that either you shared or that was different for either of you, and, and how did you go you know, get past that together? Um, to be honest with you, my husband specifically, I think we shared some of the same challenges or or um, concerns, which was just physically how, how um, this would take a toll on my body, you know, the medication, and then emotionally as well. Obviously, there's a huge emotional component to it. Um, and I'm sorry, I, I don't recall the second part of the question. Any uh, health components that also you both had to navigate together? Yeah, there were several health components. Um, I had had several complications prior to this. I had an ectopic pregnancy and three emergency surgeries um, related to that. I also had a bacterial infection that we could not seem to um, get rid of. Like, I think I was on antibiotics for three weeks. Um, I, didn't, I didn't respond well to the birth control. So there were a lot of, you know, there were a lot of <laughs> um, physical uh, challenges as well. But again, like I said, peace, prayer, and perseverance really got us through it all.